Have you ever got stuck doing UX research or are you someone who loves doing these brainstorming sessions and collaborating with a lot of people? Well, I have someone for you who's going to assist you in this. Well, consider it like your free personal assistant who's going to help you doing this. So without any further ado, let me introduce you to FigJam AI who's going to assist you and make your design brainstorming sessions more smoother. So let's jump onto my screen and see FigJam AI in action. So as you can see, this is FigJam and this is just another digital brainstorming tool by Figma. So as you can see, you can just collaborate with people people, you know, you can draw things, add stickies, add shapes, create flowcharts, collaborate with people real time. And it's really great at that. But what makes it more amazing is the AI features that they have recently introduced into it. So to try it out, there's a link in the description below where you can try FigJam AI for free. So definitely go and check it out, get registered. It's pretty simple. Just, uh, you know, sign up for Figma. And when you create a new file, you have these two options right here. One is a design file, which is Figma design. And the other one is a FigJam file. So once you click on this, it'll create create a brand new uh, brand new file right here, a blank canvas where you can start creating, ideating and collaborating with people. Talking about the Figma AI features on the top left, you have this new icon which says generate and here is where all the AI happens, right? So let me just click on this and show you how this works. So here you have an option to, you know, create whatever you want. You can get started with any prompt that you have. If you uh, just want to try it out, there are some suggestions that it's giving. So you can create some organization chart, can chart, brainstorm ideas and stuff, right? So let's say you want to start brainstorming ideas and you have no idea where to get started. So in that case, just click on this and now it has a prompt which got pre-populated. So brainstorm for new project ideas. And as you can see, it has started to create some uh, sections and it's coming up with more sections inside it. Let's see what it has come up with, right? So here it's coming up with today's date, as you can see, and the agenda right here, who's your, what are the meeting goals, who's attending it, and people can come here and start uh, creating stickies and, you know, uh, come up with ideas, right? So here it's telling project ideas, brainstorming guidelines, what are the next steps that you want to do? It already created a table right here, and you can assign people, you can tag people, create due dates. So uh, that's a very uh, generic one, right? Because um, you don't have context. The AI here doesn't have a context on what exactly to create. So let's dive deep into it. But before starting a brainstorming session, if there are new people around uh, in the group that you're uh, trying to brainstorm with, it's always good to have an icebreaker session, right? So this also helps with uh, creating icebreakers. So let me just uh, create one and show you here. So let's say it's a new team and you want to create a uh, session which is an icebreaker. So I'll just delete that and I'll say create a cool icebreaker. Uh, let's say these are teenagers. So I can specify that here as well. And just click on generate. And let's see what the AI here comes up with. So as you can see, the AI is still in its beta stage, but uh, it works great even now, right? It can generate some uh, misleading and wrong information, but uh, as of now, it's doing a great job, right? So as you can see, it has generated a section here. See what it has come up with. So, you know, uh, what is your favorite movie quotes? And people can, you know, uh, type in the favorite quotes here. And here you also have a widget that it added. And this is really great. So people can just come in here and click on this red button and it's going to open up your camera interface. And there you go. Uh, people can just come here, pose and, uh, you know, take a picture and it comes out there as a picture and, you know, people can put it here. It's a cool way to, you know, interact with people, get to know and people can write uh, something about them. It's a cool icebreaker session, right? So I really loved this. Uh, it's more focused on teenagers and that's why you have this photo booth and stuff. And that's something the AI has just thought through and created, which is really cool. So let's move on. Uh, I'll just delete this icebreaker section and uh, let's go ahead and create something more specific, right? Um, just brainstorming ideas doesn't give context to the AI. So let's try to be more specific. Let's try uh, maybe a banking app for kids. So I'm going to say fintech or banking, let's say teenagers itself. And let's see what it generates. So I'm just going to click on generate and let's see what the AI comes up with. So the AI here has basically um, come up with a flow chart. So user downloads the app and checks if it is uh, if the user is 18 plus or below 18. And then you have some parental features and all that stuff, right? So here you didn't give any context to the AI. And that is why it just thought through and thought that flowchart would be a good thing to show in this case, but this is not something that I wanted. So in that case, we have to give more context to the AI, right? So I'm just going to delete this and let's add some more context and help it create what we want, right? So I'll say plan to get started with UX research. 
And now let's click on generate and see what the AI has to generate for us. So it's loading and let's see what it has for us. So now you can see it has more context to it and it has created some sections here. Like first thing is to understand the target audience. So let's zoom in and see what it has come up with. So as you can see some interview insights and it's asking us to create a persona exactly on who we are going to generate this app for and map the user journey. And next thing is, you know, defining user research goals or what are the objectives that you have to go ahead with. And then we have some research methodologies that we can use. So it's asking us to check out these methodologies and brainstorm which different methodologies we can use to gather the insights, right? So uh, as we keep giving more context to the AI here, it'll, the results are going to be more refined and better. And now let's say you have these, uh, you have generated some ideas. For example, I have a couple of random ideas that are generated here. And now AI can still be helpful in this case, right? So let's see how that's going to be helpful. The first feature here is to summarize right so I have a section here with ideas that are brainstormed so I can just click on this uh, section here and again you have this uh, fig jam AI icon here just click on it and you'll see two more options which is sort stickies so once I click on sort stickies as you can see it's starting to read these stickies and within just a fraction of second you can see that it has sorted all of these into different categories some of these ideas are related to customization some are gamification and some are educational content right so if I had to do this for let's say a hundred stickies where there are a lot of people putting in ideas, then I'll have to sit the whole day to read each of these and, you know, sort out these stickies. But this uh, is just done in a fraction of a second, right? So you can see how helpful this is. And the other thing is just click on this and you have the other option, which is summarize. And once I click on summarize, it's going to create a summary of all these ideas into a beautiful page right here. So here you can see that here there are just eight stickies, right? Imagine doing this for 100 stickies and within a couple of seconds, the AI can tell you what is the gist of all the summary that is wanted here and you can see some voice assistant features some gamification and a lot more right so these are fig jam ai features but this doesn't end here right there is one more thing that i want to show you which is jambot and that takes it to the next level right so you can go into deeper ux research with this and let's see how that is done if you want to enable jambot it's just a widget that is available on fig jam so click on this plus button here and go to widget and search for jambot and you can see this widget right here so just click on that and it will drop it onto the canvas and as you can see it has a lot of options you can uh, play around with all of these but right now I'll just show you a couple of them so let's say for example create a gamified experience is something that I want to dive deeper into and in that case I'm just gonna select this sticky right here just select the sticky and just link it to this particular widget so now that it's linked I can ask it to do any of these options right here so let's say I want to ideate more on this particular gamification idea I'll just click on ideate and now it has started to ideate and within a fraction of a second I have five ideas with just which came out of this one idea, right? So I have a lot more ideas right here, you know, incorporating mini games, creating weekly challenges and implementing a point system. So these are some uh, cool ideas which I can dive deeper into, right? So let's say I want to talk more about this point based system. I just have to link it to this widget again and remove this link because I don't want it to ref uh, this sticky right here, just this particular sticky I want to focus on. I don't exactly understand what this point system is exactly. So I'll just click on teach me about this and within a fraction of a second, it's going to give me some more details about it and it's giving me an example on completing a simple task you could earn 10 points and that is all about you know the point based uh, reward system and you know you can uh, ask it further to do something more about it I'm not sure how to check the feasibility of this feature so I can you know give my own question to it so I'll just say quick question and let's say check the feasibility of this feature and I can say ask it and it's running its AI and as you can see uh, based on the input text implementing a point system where so and so blah 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 and it's uh, talking about the technical capabilities and all the resources that are needed right so I can dive deeper and deeper into a particular uh, feature or an idea and that's how I can keep doing my research and getting better at it right so this is basically gonna assist you it's not gonna do the whole job for you right it's not gonna replace a UX research job right away uh, but it's gonna help you and uh, you know do that uh, research part more quicker you don't have to you know sit and google each of these and run through articles to get an idea of it right so that's all about fig jam ai i hope you liked it definitely try it out the link is in the description and as always thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next one with more such videos